turn in your Bibles to the book of 2 Chronicles, the last chapter in 2 Chronicles, verse chapter 36. We want to read a, a little bit here concerning the uh, captivity of Israel. And uh, we want to we just, we, we, we got some things that we just like to read and, and uh, uh, remind you of uh, how the disobedient nations fall. Right. And how that it took Israel a long time and uh, God had promised Israel that there would be a king or a leader fall as long as they served him. But we'll see uh, even Solomon as he uh, was king and as he comes short. Right. Uh, and it started with Solomon. And uh, Solomon had had all these things that man could want for. Her. But yet, uh, it was all vanity. Then. So, this morning in the book of 2 Chronicles, verse 30, uh, chapter 36, and verse 14, I believe, for I wanted to read. It says, <clears throat> Moreover, and this is talking about. Uh, as they were uh, in captivity. Moreover, all the chiefs of the priests and the people transgressed very much after all the abominable abominations of the heathens and polluted the house of the Lord, which he had hallowed in Jerusalem. And the Lord God of their fathers sent to them by his messengers, rising up betimes and sending, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. And we need to take in mind this morning as the, the Bible says that the Lord had compassion uh, on the people. And the Lord God has compassion on us regardless Amen. of uh, how, how bad we disobey Him. He still has that love for us. And He will uh, suffer long with us. He will uh, continue to put up with our disobedience. But there comes a time in my life and in your life when that the rod has to be used. Amen. Uh, and this is the <coughs> this is the same thing that happened to Israel. So he says here uh, uh, in verse uh, fifteen, and the Lord God of their fathers sent to them by His messenger. Well, I read that. Look at verse sixteen. But they mocked the messengers of God and despised his words and misused his prophets until the wrath of the Lord arose against his people till there was no remedy. There was nothing else that he could do. There was nobody else that uh, would come that he could send uh, that would uh, do what they, or, or tell them what they, and make them listen. And so he had to send Nebuchadnezzar. And Nebuchadnezzar came in and he destroyed Israel. He destroyed Jerusalem. Uh, he overcome Judah and he tore down their temple. He took all of their vessels back to uh, uh, where he was at and uh, he completely left them in ruins. Now in, in verse, uh, in chapter uh, seven of the same book, if you would look over there with me just a minute, in chapter seven and verse eleven. <clears throat> I'm going to read a little bit more to you this morning. Uh, chapter seven of the book of Second Chronicles, in the eleventh verse. Thus Solomon finished the house of the Lord and and the king's house and all that came in, into Solomon's heart to make in his house of the Lord and in his own house he prospered effect uh, prosperously affected and the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him I have heard thy prayer and I have chosen this place to myself for a house of sacrifice if I shut up heaven that there be no rain or if I command the locusts to devour the land or if I send pestilence among my people if my people, which are called by my name, 
shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. And we this people this morning, we know this morning that it is a needed thing this morning for all of the United States of America to do. To listen to what God has got to say, but no, it's like it was over there in, in, in chapter four, uh, 36, uh, they're mockers. Mm -hmm. they're, they mock, they're, they, it's the, I've never seen nothing like it in my life anymore. You, it, it's all, it's all make fun of, it's all mockery, it's all a big joke. And uh, he is going to do just exactly what he said he would do with these people here. He's not going to let the United States of America get by with these things, and so we 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 need to we need to be preparing ourselves in heart, in spirit, to be as close to the Lord as we can. And when the time comes that He will be with us, and He will He will protect us and He will help us. And if He don't protect us and help us. He will, he will be with us and keep our enemies from uh, 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 taking us over or whatever. But I'm, I, I'm under the impression this morning that, that it's, fixed, it's going to happen and it's, it's going to happen uh, very shortly. Now, either of one of two things. Either we're going, to, we're going to face some of this or we're going to uh, uh, see the rapture come. Mm -hmm. And we this morning as God's people, we need to be talking to him about this situation. And we need to we need to be concerned and we need to be earnest with the Lord and pray, Lord, send thy son to come and get us. Because Amen. listen, I don't want to put up with what these people put up with. Now we're going to read some things this morning. Uh, uh, concerning these people and what they were going through with. They were left behind, they escaped the sword, and they were there. And listen, they were going through some of the awful things that a nation can go through with. And, 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 and this morning, I don't know if the United States will have to go through anything like this or not. More than likely, they'll blend right in and, mm -hmm. and they'll, just, uh, they'll just match right in with the rest of them. But anyway, look with me. If we, if we want to look a little bit this morning in the book of Ezra. And, and see what what we can find uh, here. If I can find it just real easy. Okay, and, and Ezra uh, six and verse one. Then then Darius the king the, of the he had. He, Nebuchadnezzar passed on, and here's Darius uh, taking over. But it, then Darius, he was of the, uh, 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 the lineage there. Darius, the king, made a degree, and search was made in the house of the roll where the treasures were laid in Babylon. And there, there was found, I didn't want to read this yet, but, and there was found an ark of uh, Armethia in the palace. That is in the province of the Medes, a roll, and therein was a record thus written. In the first year of Cyrus, the king, the same year, same Cyrus, the king made a decree concerning the house of God, of God at Jerusalem. Let the house be built, and the place where they off, offered sacrifices, and let the foundations there be strongly laid, and the height thereof three score cubits. And the breadth thereof three score cubits. And and also he goes on and goes on to tell this, but in verse seven he says, Let the work of this house of God alone. Let the governors of the Jews and of the elders of the Jews build this house of God in his place. And so he says, Moreover, I make a decree what ye shall do to the elders of these Jews for the building of this house of God, that of the of the king's goods, even the tribute beyond the river forth, with expenses to be given unto these men, that they may they may be not hindered. Now, what I've done, I jumped a little bit ahead of time because over I wanted to read some uh, in uh, in the book of uh, of uh, Nehemiah, if you would, 
and uh, and and Nehemiah was concerned about these people, and uh, I, I, I'm still wrong. In Ezra one, no, I think Ezra one. Bible, just bear with me just a minute. I got my my notes down wrong. Uh, uh, in uh, <coughs> Nehemiah, let me look and see if I can find the book in the book of Nehemiah. <coughs> because Nehemiah was concerned about these people and he asked about he asked about them uh, I'll, 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 I'll be we just uh, looking looking well we want we, I, I wanted to say this anyway that Nehemiah, and here it is, here it is a book. Nehemiah chapter 1, I'll get with you in a minute. Nehemiah chapter 1. Nehemiah is concerned about these people because he heard some stuff of these people that had come back. And the, and the word of Nehemiah, the son of Hachaliah, and it came to pass in the month of Chesulah in the 20th year. And the, these people had already been in captivity 20 years. As I was, was in Shushan, the palace, that Hananiah, one of my brethren, came, he and certain men of Judah, and I asked them concerning the Jews that had escaped, which were left of the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. And they said unto me, The remnant that are left of the captivity, uh, there, there in the province, are in great affliction and reproach. The walls of Jerusalem also is broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. And it came to pass when I heard these words that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven and said, I beseech thee, O Lord God of heaven, the great and terrible God that, that keepeth covenants and mercy for them that love him and observe his commandments. Let thy ear now be attentive and let thy eyes open that thou mayest hear the prayer of thy servant. Now here is what I was talking about this morning, being sincere and concerned about yourself and, and sincere with God. He here, as he is praying, he, he's, he is praying sincerely about those people that are over there in captivity. And listen, we could we could suffer the same the same. Thing. We could leave babies. We could leave uh, ten folks here, and they could take us off anywhere that they wanted to, and put us in captivity. And we might have a decent life. And some of those were living halfway right because the ones that had escaped and were left here, these are the ones that he's concerned about. And they have tore the city completely apart. And he says here that. He said, and I said, I beseech thee, O Lord, God of heaven, the great and terrible God, that keepeth covenants and mercy for them, that love him and observe his commandments. Let thine ear now be attentive, and thy eyes open, that thou mayest hear the prayers of thy servants, which I pray before thee now, day and night, for the children of Israel, thy servants, and confess the sins of the children of Israel, which we have sinned against thee, both I and my father's house have sinned. And so this is the this is the level of prayer. People, we don't need to say, Oh Father, thank you for this and bless this and do this and do that. But we as God's people need to start confessing Amen. our sins before God. And Father and, and, and we know that we've got a reviving a revival <coughs> supposedly or a series of meetings, whatever it is praying that it would be a revival. Amen. And this is something that we need to get in touch with God about and confess our sins and be sincere with Him and ask Him to bless this services, these services that, that we will have and that we as God's people might get on far from the Lord Amen. and that we might be closer drawn to Him because listen, we're going to have to we are going to have to do something more than what we're doing. Amen. And so, I, 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 in, 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 look here in Nehemiah, what he, what he went on to say in, in, ver, in chapter 4. Notice in chapter 4, verse 1. But it came to pass that when Simbad, and they, they, had already, they had already started trying to build his wall, but it came to pass that when Simbad, Simbadal, 
heard that we built the wall, he was wroth and took great indignation and mocked the Jews. And he spake before his brethren and the armies of Samaria and said, What do these feeble Jews? Will they for fortify themselves? Will they sacrifice? Will they make an end in a day? Will they revive the stones out of the heaps of the rubbish Will, which are burned? He's asking this question. People, it is, it is possible with, the, with, with our prayers to the Lord that these things can happen. Mm -hmm. the, these things are, are some of the things that we need to, we need to be concerned about in, in, in our prayer life. And that is to ask God for these things. Because, listen, He don't, He don't, I mean, He appreciates a prayer, but listen, we need to get His ear. Amen. We need to get his ear. And we need to ask him to do things. Now listen. Now in verse 3. Now Tobiah the uh, Amorite was with by him. And he said even that which they built. If a fox go up he shall even break down their stone walls. Hear O our God for we are despised. And turn their reproach upon their own heads. And give them for a prey in the land of captivity. And cover not their iniquities, and let not their sins be blotted out from before thee. For they have provoked thee to anger before the builders. So build we the wall, and all the wall was joined together unto the half thereof. For the people had a mind to work. Amen. Listen, that's, that's what we need this morning, people. Amen. There's a mind to work. And if we if we put if we put this first in our life, if we take care of that, if we take care of that, then the rest of everything else will fall in line. We won't have to worry about uh, other things that are going on in our life, and we have to put them first, and then pray a little prayer to God and say, "Well, thank you, Lord, and bless this and bless that, and Amen." But listen, we need to get serious with the Lord. Amen. And, and, and I'm serious this morning as a, as a heart attack. I, I'm telling you this morning, we need to get serious. And, I, and I, I'm, I, I promise you, I'm trying. I'm trying my best to get more serious with the Lord. Amen. And, and, and I, I'm getting results. I'm getting results. People, he's, he's healed my body for one thing. Amen. And listen, I, I'm, I'm ready to I'm ready to try to, to do a little bit more than what I've been doing, and 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 this thing of uh, uh, having a mind to work. That's what I want to do. Amen. That's what I want. I want to do. I want to accomplish that. Is have a mind to work, and if it's for if it's if the Lord allows me to do it, whatever, whatever, how long I can do it, I, I want to do it. And so we see here this morning that that the Jeremiah. And we, and we we need to read just a little bit of Jeremiah this morning in, eight, in, uh, in chapter uh, 25 this morning. <clears throat> chapter 25 uh, in verse 17. Look at 17. Well, just back up just a little bit. Uh, in in uh, twenty in twelve and twenty five twelve, and this is what Jeremiah prophesied, and Daniel picked up on it. But anyway, in verse twelve it says, "And it shall come to pass when seventy years are accomplished that I will punish the king of Babylon and that nation." saith the Lord, for their iniquities and the land of the Chaldeans and, and will make a perpetual diso, uh, dis, desolation. And I will bring upon the land all my words which I have pronounced against it, even all that is written in this book which Jeremiah had prophesied against all the nations. And, and God had sent Jeremiah time and time and time and time again and he would prophesy and he would tell these people and listen they made fun of him he was in captivity with them and 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 this is this is what he wrote down and daniel picked up on it later on and he said uh over in daniel 9 uh 
Daniel 9, I believe it is. I want to read that.
title of what it will be, but anyway. Uh, but that's our lesson this morning, and I, and I think that if you'll think upon these things, you'll see that uh, you can get closer to the Lord what you are. Mm -hmm. That you can be more earnest with Him, that you can be more sincere. And listen, if it's not God's will that we, uh, whatever, you're still, you're still covered. You're still, uh, you're still in God's will because He wants you to pray to Him and He wants you to be sincere with Him. So that's my, that's my lesson for the day, and I hope that it, that it will help all those that are listening. Because listen, I, I believe this thing this morning with the YouTube and all this is going out. Uh, that there's there's other people that's hearing this. Amen. There are other people that needs to hear this, and I believe that there will be people out there who say Amen to this because they know it's true. Amen. And uh, there's a, we need to make a stand, and the best way we can make a stand is not get out here with with guns and 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 and, and try to kill people, but it is to go to the Lord God and say, Father, we need your help. We're we're. We're done. We're, we're, we're out. Of, we're out. Of, uh, we're out of ammunition, mm -hmm. and it, it's got to be. In, it's, it's in God's hands. So we we thank you for listening to us, and, uh, and I hope that you remember to pray for one another. Pray for me as I try to read the word, the word of God and, and try to get a lesson that uh, that will be a blessing to each one. Thank you all. Yeah.